Hello everybody and welcome back to Deponia. Last time we managed to distract the robot that was guarding what looked to be the radio we need to call Cletus. And so now we can go in and see if we can give him a call. Oh man, he's having a blast. I'd rather not disturb him. He looks so happy. Oh, we get a cat. One for now, and one for the road. Oh, we got two cats. Someone has pierced some holes into the sheet and put numbers on them. Whew, the mailbot must have been really bored. Someone has been poofed a mailbot. I'm assuming this is probably for the combination. So, first number of that box, third number of the second box, second number, third number. So, three, six, four, nine. Ha <laughs> ha! Rufus in the house, and soon he'll be in the vault. Now he's in the hall. Here he's hurting the foot. Ouch! Oops! Ah, yeah! Take that nodding bird. And use the radio. Neither mic nor headphones. Oh, must I do everything myself? That's the problem. Um... Oh yeah, the guy up here had, a. Uh, Headset, didn't he? So you guys have to get it off of him. But he won't give it to us. This technology is a catastrophe. Oh, uh, jeez. That would be a hint. Alright, let's put a cat on the typewriter. <laughs> I bet their message makes more sense than anything Lotech ever typed. The operator will thank me. See if that did anything. Well, he certainly looks annoyed. Hey, Yoo-Hoo, hello. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. Make it snappy, I'm busy. Can I have the headphones now? What? No! I need those for work. So don't get on my nerves. All right. I guess then. that probably wasn't enough. I totally agree. What else can we do to annoy him? I wonder if we can do something with a parrot. Ah! I'm starving! Nice parrot. 
Yes, we use it to detect danger. Can't really give him anything, yeah, though. Keeps his beak firmly shut. It's hard to believe he can breathe like that. We need some way to get him to open his mouth. And what better way than laughing gas? So, let's fill another balloon. And then go and try to use that on the parrot. See if that works. Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. Sweet. Now I probably have to wake him up, I guess. So let's give him Wakey, some espresso. Wakey. See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. Tony's last therapist used to parrot everything she said. Uh, hint, hint, hint. Let's go throw the parrot through Tony's window. Tony's last therapist. You... All right, uh, let's go inside and put it on the um, perch that's in there. In that case, hey, Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And. Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow! So he's the exact opposite of you! Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you, so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, it's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out! Get out! Ugh. Ah! I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? Ah! Ha! <laughs> ha! Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! Ah, poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. Alright, I guess let's uh, leave them to it for a little while. Go see if we can do something with this other cat. I'm guessing what we need to do is use him for the intercom, maybe? See if this works. Next, please. Cute, but just one key for four paws seems awfully inefficient to me. Guess not. That's probably for the parrot then. And this one is one key for four paws, so you didn't worry about that, did you?
Maybe we can use a nodding bird on that. Next place! Next place! Next place! That seemed Next to work. Place. Next please. Next please. So what do we do Next with this place. other cat? All right, now he's got two things going. Getting gradually more annoyed. <laughs> Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Okay, so, okay, so the parrot probably goes on the emergency phone. Let's see if Tony is done with it yet. Because I assume she's been feeding it lines about what Rufus has done in the past. So it'll be still start reporting all those through the emergency phone. Then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Full Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is a no good Nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> so I can take it back. What yep. are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have expired. <laughs> Cheap lies. All right, let us go put the bird on the emergency telephone thing. Inspector Gizmo speaking. You have an emergency to report? Rufus has stolen the squares off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus! I should have thought as much. What else do you know? Rufus has caused a nuclear meltdown. Rufus has stolen the antenna of Miss Ingle's tractor. A little slower, please. I can't follow you. Could you repeat that, please? I don't know if this was such a good idea. Oh, well, what are you talking about? Right. It's a great the idea. The line is busy now. <laughs> the operator will be overjoyed. What else do you know? Rufus is a good Nick. Hopefully that'll be enough. Let's go check. Not, still not really sure what to use that last cat for, though. What else do you know? Rufus breeds grasshoppers in the wheat silo. Next, please! Next, please! Next, please! Rufus is a no good Nick. Next, please! Rufus is All right, took off his headphones. Next, please! Rufus is now in the antenna of Miss Ingle's practice. We've driven him insane. Next, please! All right. We have a microphone. All that's missing is the headphones. And we have headphones. Let's contact Cletus. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, Cletus? Junk slide hazard in the northern quadrant. Caused by a flock of stampeding... Cletus! Come on! Your love is the most wonderful gift! Cletus? Cletus! Oh, 
Rufus is the most wonderful gift. They call him Rufus. Rufus! <laughs> Searching for my fiance, calling all inhabitants of Deponia. Hey, wait a second. Name is Cletus. I am searching for my fiance. Possibly she is... Cletus? Cletus! Is that you? This is Rufus. Can you hear me? Hello, Rufus? Are you on Deponia? Of course I'm on Deponia. And where are you? On the Organon Cruiser? Or Elysium? That's none of your business. Well, I need a few answers from you before we talk about your fiancé. Answers? Depends on what you want to know. Are you really from Elysium? Of course I am, but I don't get why you should care where I come from. What's it like on Elysium? Well, it's not as dirty and uncivilized as down here, and the people are less annoying, too. Brilliant! Sounds like the perfect place for me. What was your fiancé doing on board an Organon cruiser? That's none of your business. But isn't it a bit strange that a woman from Elysium was... Don't worry about things that go far over your head. Let's get down to business. Are the Organons planning something? Why do you want to know that? Listen, never get involved in matters of the higher sphere. You'll never understand what's happening up there above your head, let alone influence any of that. Don't even bother to try. Has your fiancé always been a bit odd? What? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, okay. Let's assume for a second that your fiancé is suffering from a kind of, um, concussion. A concussion? Yeah, but a purely hypothetical assumption. <laughs> then you shouldn't waste time and get her to me. You'll be very sorry if you've hurt her. I need her brain to be fully functional. You really love her, don't you? And you two are really engaged? Why are you asking me that? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Oh, just, uh, <laughs> chewing the fat. Does your fiancé have a sister by any chance? What are you talking about? Oh, it's just a, <laughs> just a thought. You should spend less time thinking. Seems like your head isn't up to the task. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Yes, that's what I thought, too. Hmm. Well, I got the answers. Now the question is, what am I doing this for? Rufus does want to go to Elysium. He does want money. But he also wants to help Gold. I'll go for this one. I'm doing it for Gold. What do you think I am, a fool? If you're trying to squeeze more money out of me, you better just say so. Well, what do you want? I want you to take me with you to Elysium. <laughs> Impossible! Well, that's my price. Either I can come along to Elysium, or... Listen, I can't take you to Elysium. There must be something else you need. Money. A lot of money. That's blackmail! Well, fair enough. How much do you want? Well, I, I uh... I don't know. Uh, how much is a ticket to Elysium? Don't make a fool of yourself, man. Elysium is not a, an amusement park. I know that. Listen, no money in the world can buy a ticket to Elysium. Okay, well then there's no deal. Keep your dirty money. I intend to, believe me. Good. Good. Just one thing. What exactly is an amusement park? Nope. I want a passage to Elysium or nothing at all. Well, then you'll get nothing at all. Well, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and cancel your wedding. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Maybe there's a way. I knew it. Bring gold to me. We'll meet at the Lower Ascension Station at the shore of the Rust Red Sea tomorrow night. I'll be waiting on top of the platform. Do you think you can make it there? Tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. If, uh... I thought you wanted to get to Elysium. What didn't you find, Goal, after all? Well, I, I did. I did. Well, then we have a deal. I'll meet you after sunset. Cletus, over and out. Just... W w wait a second. I... 
Cletus? Okay, upper ascension station. Down on the... Uh, up on the lower ascension station. Up on top of the platform. Ha! Huh, easy as pie for a guy like me. Elysium, I'm coming! Yes, this totally isn't a trap. Oh, let us go pick up goal and head over to the ascension station. So I wonder, can I give him a cat? Cute. We once used cats. Unfortunately, they weren't any good as mine fume indicators. They always skedaddled instead of falling dead from the perch as they should. I guess not. But where's Goal? What the? Hey, what are you doing? Gizmo? Look at you. Finally, I brought you to justice. What is that supposed to mean? It's me, Rufus. I know. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. You don't have any proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. I'm innocent. Uh, yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for goal. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous toad? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me. It was me. Who found the Elysian? Uh, Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel, none other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus, Bailiff Argus, Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, Bailiff? I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo. The girl is with Mr. Wenzel. Gizmo, no! You'll find his house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector. You just saved your community a lot of suffering. Yeah, really. Well done. Shut up. All right. How do we get out of this situation? Do we use the cat? I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet. Hmm. Hand torch? If I weld it shut, I'll never be able to open it again. Tranquilizer. No, that doesn't make sense. Gizmo never understood my philosophy, although it's fairly easy. No great in the world. <laughs> there. It moved, while you were blinking. Whoa! The fumes alone make the paint shrink. Oh, I can hardly wait to try this espresso on goal. You already used it on goal. But there's no water here. No surprise, it hasn't rained for weeks.
boy, how often did people around... Nope. Knowing Gizmo, I suppose. That's it. I'll just set fire to the tree. Gizmo will go into firefighting mode, and I can escape using the pole. Uh, if only I could reach the tree from here. There we go. What? What was that sound? How about emergency? Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. What happened? Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed up the tree and she's afraid to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. Come. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> All right, let's get to Wenzel's place and see if we can save Goal. Why are all those people out in front of the town hall again? Eh, we'll go there next. Wenzel! Rufus! What... What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Ha! You know very well what I'm doing here. Where is she? Rufus, please, let me explain. No, you spineless traitor. It's not what you think. We'll see about that. Tony? You? What are you doing here? Me? I don't know. Finally, at a loss for words, I don't believe it. But I don't care what you think, there is an easy explanation for all this. What? No! no I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even remember asking. Keep your gross secrets to yourselves. I just want to know where Goal is. Who's Goal? Oh, so your little lover boy here didn't tell you about his other conquest. Conquest? Wenzel, what is he talking about? And why are you dressed like that? Well, I, I thought... Uh... Oh, and who the heck is Goal? No one, really. I mean, she's not even working properly. What the... Where is she, Wenzel? I put her in the basement. In the basement? Well, I see that you two have a lot to talk about. Have fun. Why is Tony smoking in the shower? You used to have better taste in men, you know that? I mean, Wenzel. I'm just taking a shower for crying out loud. What the heck is going on here anyway? Let your new lover explain that to you. And put some clothes on next time someone comes to visit. Why, that's... Oh, my eyes! Don't pretend. There's nothing in here you haven't already seen. Yeah, uh, true, but some things I, I like to repress. You... Simply locked Goal in the basement? Well, Tony had asked if she could come round to try my water. I didn't want to have another woman lying around unconscious in the living room. It would have somehow spoiled the atmosphere. Wow, I didn't know you were such a romantic. I'm not looking at this misery any longer. I have to save Goal. All right, let's go to the basement and get Goal. Really? He put her in the cupboard? Oh. Water too small. Just too small. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I I'll get you out of here. Open up! Organon! But you're already inside. No excuses. The strong suspicion arose that you are harboring a member of the Resistance on the run. Rufus, what kind of mess is he in now? So, you admit your crime. We haven't been harboring anyone. He just burst in. Go ahead. He's down in the cellar. Uh-oh. I have to think fast. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? Uh, 
No, that'd take too long. There we go. Bar the door. written our hero was smitten and rescued the maiden from impending doom on a horse made of steel evil guys on his heels he rode with a girl into dawn's early gloom she awoke by his kiss well at least more or less and the whole part concerning the uppercut scare can be pinned at least to some extent on her damaged brain and blood anyway in a big picture who's gonna care who's up? who's gonna care What a pain in the... Ooh, you really could make yourself a bit lighter, you know? Araba, flopper bubba. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. From bad to worse, where are we anyway? Hey, that's the old junk mine rail system. Back in the day, it was used to transport heavy loads to the lower ascension station. Oh, sorry, babe. Don't take it personally. Now, I just need to find some kind of rail car and a way to get goal on it. Let's go! I think we'll call it there for today. That's the end of part one. And we will go into part two next time. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like or fave. If you really enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!